Yeah. Hey, what's going on you guys? You just saw a little intense back workout that I did. Maybe Scott, I can steal some of the footage from his part as well. Uh, we just want to take a little time and talk about our top three supplements we take. Obviously, we get a ton of questions about you know, which supplements are good, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of BS supplements out there. We just kind of want to give you no brand names, just basically the supplements that we like personally, our top three each. So actually, I'm going to start and say the number one thing that I like to take is first and foremost a pre-workout. Now, I don't always take pre-workout. In fact, I don't even have any pre-workout right now. So today I'm running off of, actually, I had some endo explode, luckily. But that brings me to my point, is you only should be taking pre-workout when you need that extra kick to get you to the gym. So that's why I put it as my number one. So... For, take over. for me, it's very cliche, protein. <laughs> Have to say it. And, but not just any kind of protein. Um, if I had to make a choice between what was on the shelf, I like to go with a, with a blend that has whey and casein in it. And for a few different reasons. Number one, you know, when you do a combination of whey and casein, casein takes longer to break down. So it keeps your protein synthesis elevated over time and so when you do whey protein what happens is yeah you're boosting your leucine levels it gets digested fast goes right into your system and it's great for after workouts but for me the reason why I like the whey and casein blend is because I like to take that kind of protein before I go to sleep and in that way over the eight hour period of while I'm sleeping I have a nice slow release of protein feeding my body and feeding my muscles. So protein for me is number one, but a whey and casein blend. It also keeps you fuller longer too. Oh yeah. It's taking longer to digest. You ever have like a, just a plain whey protein shake and then like 30 minutes later you're starving, like your stomach is growling. I actually, um, I mix it with Greek yogurt at night. I do a, a cup of Greek yogurt and then I do a scoop of protein on top of it. It's good to keep it interesting. You don't want to just be you know, constantly mixing your protein with just water or milk. It tastes like frosting. Make it fun. Don't it tastes like frosting. So yeah. It's freaking good. <laughs> it tastes like frosting. And then I put some strawberries in there. If guys come over to my house, hook you up with some frosting pudding protein with strawberries. <laughs> so I guess for number two for me, uh, this is highly controversial and people think this is, tends to be like one of the more wasted supplements is actually uh, the BCAAs. And the only time I really want to take them is during my workouts or especially when you're in a calorie deficit and you're cutting. Because these kind of, personally for me, so this is all for me, this is what I like. I'm not recommending this for any of you guys. But when I'm in the gym and you ever get those moments where you're so hungry and you realize you're fatigued, you kind of want to like throw up like that nasty oh, yeah. feeling. When I take BCAAs, I tend to lose that feeling and I feel like it's because it's fueling my body with those extra nutrients. So basically when you're supplementing, you can supplement with Gatorade if you want to, but BCAAs are just a healthier option. It's a non-carb option. So um, obviously when you're in the gym too long or you're in a calorie deficit, your body's breaking down its lean muscle mass. Your body is always going to pull um, nutrients from your muscle tissue when it needs it. So by supplying yourself with BCAAs, you know, your body's not going to suck whatever you have from your diet or whatever in your muscle tissue or you have an abundance of it so you don't have to worry about, you know, going into muscle catabolism or anything like that. And not only that, guys, it's not just skeletal muscle that breaks down, it's also your smooth muscle, so your intestines, the lining of your heart, all of that stuff gets broken down. It's not just skeletal muscle. So it is actually important to supplement with BCAAs if you're in a calorie deficit. I would say my number two is glutamine. And I've been very religious with my glutamine, especially um, there's a video on my channel where I talk about all the benefits of glutamine, how much to take. I take about 30 grams a day, split into two different. I take one before my workout and one after my workout, one scoop of 15 grams. And even while I was sick, like I was really sick for a week and I was taking my glutamine every single day. And you know, during times of high stress, whether it's from trauma or you're just stressed out in general, during those times, your body will pull glutamine from wherever it can because it needs more of it. You know, and it also really helps with your immune system. And you know, I lost like 10 pounds, but I feel like I lost, I didn't lose a ton of muscle, I lost a lot of water weight, and I'm still a bit, ca bit calorie de depleted, and I did burn some fat, and I really think because every single morning, obviously I wasn't going to the gym, but every single morning I was taking my glutamine, and I was also taking it at night just to try to help with recovery, and I, I think it really did help me out. And, you know, there's a lot of controversy over glutamine and all the benefits of it, what it can really do. At the end of the day, with a supplement like that, if you know during like a stressful situation or a traumatic event or if your body's like do a physical like high stress situation like exercising if at any time during those times a uh, uh, um, glutamine is going to be pulled from your muscle tissue you know even if you don't think it's doing anything in my opinion it's like why not just take a little extra to ensure that you don't start catabolizing, uh, catabolizing muscle tissue you know what i mean it's more like an insurance policy yeah 
You know, I'm not saying like, oh, I took all this glutamine yeah. and my muscles, yeah, blew up. Woo! I'm, no. just, I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, I obviously, I'm sponsored by BSN, so I get the, a lot of these supplements and I know it's, it, it's gonna help me, it's my insurance policy, so that's why I definitely take it. And you know, I do think rank number two is pretty good for me. So uh, I'm not even ranking these, by the way, I, I might have confused people, but I'm just kind of putting them up. These are my top three in no particular order, even though I said number one earlier, but I actually might say pre is my number one. But anyway, back to the topic. So number three or whatever, my third one is arginine. Now, many people consider this a wasted supplement, but the thing with arginine is it does actually increase blood flow. If you take it, you will notice a difference in your both your vascularity and your pumps in the gym. And this is super important, especially, wasn't that in that thing you gave me? You oh yeah, I, I gave Scott, uh, I give them the, uh, I'm not going to mention brand names, I said I was going to. You can to. say your brand. Okay. I'll say it. Cellucor, NO, what was it, NO3? NO3. Yeah, okay, so I gave him an arginine It supplement. really made me, it made my veins pop out like that. It was cool. If it's you're going to do like a photo shoot, you want to look badass, just take some arginine. I was like, Pfft. Yeah, and uh, another form of, oh, not another form of arginine. So citrulline malate, you might see another supplement, actually gets converted into arginine in the body. So it's actually the same thing. It's actually more expensive, so that's a little fun fact. But when you take it in the gym, it also helps you focus on that mind-muscle connection. So when you're performing, you know, a high-intensity workout, you get that extra pump. But you also are able to contract the muscle forward because you're more mentally aware of it because it freaking burns like crazy. So one of those supplements might not be that useful if you're a power lifter. But if you're a bodybuilder or a physique trainer or just someone who's looking to, you know, get more of a pump in the gym, look good for the ladies, RG might be for you. Or the dudes. Or the dudes. Or like whatever you. you're into, it's <laughs> totally fine with me. I would say for me, number three um, is BCAAs as well. That was your number two. Yeah. For a lot of the same reasons that Eric mentioned. And, you know, a lot of you guys were asking questions. I'm going to do an in-depth video on BCAAs. And when I posted about it the other day, I asked you guys to leave your question. Or oh, if you guys are, some of you guys are, are, are fans of me and are on my Facebook page. And you guys asked a ton of good questions. And a lot of people were bringing up, um, you know, well, what if there's BCAAs in your protein? And, you know, I've actually been doing a lot of research. It's one of the things we're going to talk about. Yeah, if there's BCAAs in your protein, that's great. But your, your body is not going to be able to absorb. If there's 15 grams, let's say it's 15 grams of BCAAs in your protein versus, you know, I take amino acids, one scoop is 15 grams. I'm getting way more out of that one scoop of actual BCAAs than BCAAs mixed with protein. And it has to do with the digestion process because you're getting a mixture of all these different things over here. Over here, it's pure BCAAs. And it does make a difference. And I also talked about how I like to take BCAAs in the morning as soon as I wake up because it, it'll help your body, you know, stop from your overnight fast. Obviously, when you're sleeping, you're not eating, your body goes to overnight fasting and it is possible to burn muscle tissue. And some people were asking questions like, well, you're not going to go catabolic just because you went to sleep. And that's true. But like, just like I said with glutamine, you know, obviously I am an overnight fast, so if I know I can wake up and get these nutrients into my body and start the process of elevating my leucine levels in my blood, and whenever you do that, you promote protein synthesis, which will stop muscle catabolism, why not, you know, take advantage of that opportunity to do so? And so that's why BCA is a part of my stack. Grape. So it brings up another important uh, random fact, which I will talk about in a future video, and that has to go with the fact that you're taking the BCA straight in the morning, and there actually is a gene in the body that gets activated in the morning that increases fat breakdown more so than any other point in the day, and that process gets shut off by the increase of insulin in your body. So by taking an amino acid supplement, you're actually not boosting your insulin levels, so that gene might be still active as opposed to if you were to take... I don't know, eat a piece of fruit and your insulin will spike. That shuts off the gene. But we will get into that in a future video. And don't forget, guys, obviously, if now you're worried, like, holy shit, I'm boosting my insulin in the morning, <laughs> just make sure your morning meals have complex carbohydrates and you won't have to worry about that big insulin spike. So stay away from the, the, the fast, like he said, the fruit or the white breads or white rice or that stuff. Complex carbs like oatmeal, stuff like that. That'll be, you know, good for you. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's a little quick talk we did in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more like straight up talks like this, just let me know. I can bring this guy in or whoever else you want to, you know, see in our videos. So until next time, see you guys later. Look at that controlled form. Look at that controlled form. It's so quiet. Luke. And Sorry nice. Why so tired. Luke, Luke is a hairy beast. Look at that. Love it. He's showing everybody. Oh, oh, real men don't shave. That's some awesome power stuff right there. We should do a video. Thumbs up if you guys want to see us.
Wax Luke's chest. Oh, yes. 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 And watch him scream like 40 year old virgin. That'd be oh. awesome. Flaw exception? Yes. You're weird, man. You're weird. 